Hey, I'm Sarah and welcome to my first video. I'm a third year computer science student at UBC and I've been programming for over five years now. I've had one co-op eight month experience and I've done a handful of interviews. Today I'll be talking about how to do your first software dev intern interview. This is a video I wish that I had watched before I did my first interviews. First off, if you've gone a software interview, pat yourself on the back because you've really gone past the hardest part of this process, which is the resume screen. This means in the sea of applicants, your resume stood out to the company and they really want to get to know more about you. Now, whether your interview is in a couple of days or a few weeks, these are a few things you can do to help you prepare. This is something that I started doing recently. Start off by Googling the company that you're going to interview and look them up on LinkedIn, Reddit, or Glassdoor, looking for other people's interview experience. This will give you insight into the interview process if they ask more technical questions, if they ask more behavioral questions, what type of technical questions they may ask, if they're more string manipulation questions or graph questions. It also may give you in some insight into how many stages an interview might be. It could be two technical parts and then one behavioral part. These are all things that will help you prepare for the interview. Next, look at the job description to find out the programming language and the tools that this company might use. Some of the questions may stem from these topics. Most companies will have a technical portion of the interview, which might be technical questions that you answer with words or a leak code style questions that you would answer with coding. Some data structure and algorithm questions they may ask are, what's the difference between array list and a linked list? This is what I got asked at Amazon and also they might ask you what is a hash table, how to handle hash collisions, questions along those lines. There's plenty of them online that you can just look up. Now they will probably also ask you leak code type questions. These are just coding questions. Prepare for these by just going on leak code, looking at the company tag questions and just doing those ones. Also leak the leak code forum, I guess the forum page has a lot of people saying, oh, I interview with Amazon and I got asked these types of questions. I really recommend if you're not already solving lead code questions or lead coding style questions using Python. I started off by using Java and it's a lot more verbose and getting to the solution takes a lot more lines of code. So Python is a lot faster to answer these coding questions. Also, when you're practicing these problems on your own, solve these problems by talking through the question, talking through the test cases, maybe even writing them down on a piece of paper or writing them down on a whiteboard when it comes to solving leak code questions. Most interviews also have a behavioral component. So for this part, follow the Amazon leadership principles, even if you don't have an interview with Amazon. If you can answer most of these leadership principle questions, you can probably answer any question that a company might be asking you. You want to answer these questions using the STAR method, which is situation, task, action, result. And this is a popular way to phrase your answers. During my Amazon interview, I was asked, tell me about a time you made a mistake. And another popular rendition of this question is, tell me about a time you almost missed a deadline. I struggle a lot preparing for the behavioral questions for the interview. Honestly, didn't really know what experience I could even talk about. Then I realized like, Companies really understand that you're a student, so you obviously can talk about any school projects, any personal projects, hackathons, or obviously previous internships that you've done. This is an example of how to answer, tell me about a time you made a mistake. In a software development course, I completed a full stack project where I queried over UBC course data. This project required test-driven design in order to meet the deadline of the project. I forgot to write a test plan and organize my test cases, which would have prevented me from writing a lot of overlapping test cases. Near the deadline, I had written over a hundred test cases and I was still missing some of the coverage. I had to go through all these test cases to figure out which edge cases I had missed. Because of my indescriptive titles, I ended up writing a lot of overlapping tests and this let me to spend a lot more time than necessary. While I managed to meet all the coverage for the test cases, I still made sure to organize my test cases before the next checkpoint by rewriting them to have more descriptive titles, putting them in folders so that my partner and I could have easier time reading them in the future. I learned that it's valuable to write a test plan before you start writing your tests so that you can easily visualize the edge cases that you might be missing. This question might ask you to reflect on a negative experience, but make sure that you 
really emphasize the positive outcome that came from this project. In a recent interview, I talked about a SQL project that I was currently working on. And at the end of my response, the interviewer asked me what the what was the normalization method that I used? I said I normalized it to 3NF and because it was fresh in my mind, it was I was able to answer questions like that a lot easier. So it might be helpful to talk about project that you're currently doing. At the end of the interview, it's your chance to ask the interviewer questions and you should definitely prepare for questions that you might wanna ask them. Another question you can ask is, what can an intern expect to achieve after working for four months at this company? My final piece of advice is to record everything you have prepared for an interview down on a notion page or excel spreadsheet write down all the leak code questions that you've answered and the answers for them write down all the behavioral questions that you prepared for and also write down the questions that you were asked during the interviews or during previous interviews this can be information that you can reference the next time you're going to be preparing for your interview remember that every interview is an opportunity to practice and gain experience answering technical and behavioral questions so do not worry if you weren't able to answer some of the questions they might have asked you. Just be sure to record these questions so you can answer them in the future. Wear something cute and comfy and don't forget to smile. Good luck on your interview and I really hope this video was helpful to you. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment below. Thanks.